All right, so you want to know how to cheat in Blood Bowl Chaos Edition? No, this isn't going to turn in a full Let's Play, so don't even think about it. This is a tutorial video. So, let's say you wanted to just beat campaign on like really hard or really easy doesn't matter depends on what you really want but uh, never ever go here and use this team just just don't don't do that don't do that to people just just don't but anyway let's say you wanted to do a campaign and you've been trying You've been trying a lot, and you've been just getting the shit kicked out of you. In Blitz, Classic is actually a lot easier than Blitz, and I don't know why. But at the same time, you can use this for both. I'm going to use it for Blitz, because Blitz is more fun to me. Uh, you choose your campaign name. Mine is going to be... Tantric Hydra, because why not? I'm gonna do that, and this, if Blitz is your mode, you can turn it to real time or turn based. Turn based is uh, harder in a way, real time is easier in a way, but both of them have their pros and cons. I'm gonna go back to, you know what, I'll try real time on this one. It's not gonna matter for the purpose of this video, but yeah. I'm going to choose Dark Elf because they have a thing for Hydras, as you can see. Yep. And they're going to be named that. Titanic Hydras, because why not? I'm going to make them uh, this color blue. And you can see how exactly how that reflects on the model of the witch. But anyway. Now there's only one available to you at the moment, so you gotta go into that. And since we have no players, we have to buy them. So I'm just gonna buy a bunch of linemen. Twelve should be enough. Well, thirteen. Have a couple of people, players in reserve in case shit happens. But as you can see, now we don't really have enough money to do much of anything. You get a couple of rerolls, sure, or you get a reroll, sure, but you can't hire an apothecary after that, so it's left to cheerleaders, this and fan factor. Blech. So I'll show you how to uh, how to bring yourself up, not only here or keep yourself down here. Don't matter. One of the two. But, uh, bring you up at least in here and here, especially here. And then, uh, how to also change this or this into something that looks a lot more like. Well, you'll see. Well, the first part. Uh, part is to save your team. Not export your team. Don't do not do that. You gotta save your game. Save your game. That's the first step after buying your players. First things first is you have to have Blood Bowl. But still, anyway. So, next step. Well, I'll see you when we get there. Next step, we're out on the, uh, out on the desktop here. Hi, Zero Wing. You were fun. And so that's the next step right here. Open up a SQL browser. This is the one that I use. You can see it right there, SQL Light Browser. It works. Go to Browse Data after opening up your campaign. And as you can see, there's two campaign files, which sucks, honestly. But you go down here, you go to Player Listing, player underscore listing in the tables, not over here or anywhere, you gotta be in browse data over here on this particular one. And now you can see 
all the players in the game. I can change everyone's name. I'm not going to, but I could. Go to team listing. For campaign, it will always be, for your team, 394. I don't know anything about uh, championship or story. Doesn't bother me none for either of those. But this is our team of 13, as you can see. Now, let's say you want to change all their names. You could have done that in-game, but since you're already out of game, you can do that here. Zero is now fucker nuts. Oh, apparently, um, I have a very bad problem with swearing. Also, fucker nuts is now a witch. I can uh, go over here and edit all the statistics and everything for fucker nuts. And this, uh, these over here for movement, strength, agility, and armor. These are your main classes. These are your stats in game. They're written in percentage. So, all of these people have like a six movement. Because your max movement is 12, so a six movement is 50% of that. Strength. Max strength is eight, so these all have four strength. Agility. Max agility is six. Well, 100% agility is six. So, they've got a fairly good agility. 12 for armor value, so they've got okay armor too. And so you go around here, I'm gonna give her enough to level up. And we can go all the way over here to all of the other stuff and this I may explain later if you guys really want to sh want me to show you how to get a ton of like level up bonuses and things but honestly I don't think you guys really want that because it's eh, it is what it is but this is all like your experience your armor that's your helmet, this is all the rest, and I wouldn't screw around with this until you uh, learned all of the values for these and written all those down. You guys can create your own guides on this. I know you can, you're smart people. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and change a few of these around. To different types of people and these numbers right here are only for dark elf so or elf noir as it's said in over here but anyway is it under player causalities their causality types, cool. But no, it's actually under races and things like that, where you can find out uh, what your number is and uh, what all of the stuff is for all of your stuff. So there's that, and uh, yeah, so we've got fucker nuts, and we got all this stuff. Uh, if you want, you can actually also go to your team listing over here. Go to ID and 394. Oh, look at that. We're the Titanic Hydras. I could change that name if I wanted to. I can change my logo. I can change the string right here. Dish best eaten steaming hot. Yeah. I can change that if I want to. Value. That's the value of your team. And... Uh, Eleven, one, two, three, one, two, three. Eleven million dollars. Let's give ourselves eleven million dollars. 
Uh, let's give ourselves eight rerolls, an apothecary, and ten cheerleaders with. Let's see. No, I don't know what bombs are. It also doesn't have a spot for assisting coaches, I guess. Which is fine. Oh, there it is. Assistant coaches is 18. All right. And those are the max in game. So those are things. And I didn't have to spend a dime on them. Then let's say you wanted to give a couple of people different skills. And that's what I'm actually more writing the guide on in, uh, in person. All of your team will be two four nine or two nine sorry two four nine or no two four two. I have to up so it'd be two four two eight and that's the first person. This is Fucker Nuts. And they have a skill. Why do they have a skill? Oh, this is the wrong one. Sorry, it's under player listing. I did that wrong. 2429. Nope, 2428 then. And still no. So they don't have a skill right now. But if you had a new record with 2428, this is going to be fucker nuts. And give them. Let's see. What would I want to give them? 78. You'll see what it is in just a second. And so there, I gave that person a lot of stuff right now. So I'm going to write changes because you got to save your changes. You know, you just have to. So there they go. They're all going to be saved right now. But this game does something really cruel. Really cruel. Hopefully, I did this right. Uh, let's go to open database. Be absolutely certain that that's the one that I was in. Yeah, that's the one I was in. All right. So, I was in cache. So, they've got it saved in cache as well as. I'm going to copy this right quick just to be safe, as well as campaigns in uh, saves. So make sure that you are replacing both of them, otherwise it will not work at all. Your old values will be the same, so you've got to make sure of that. Make sure you take care of all of that, and make sure you exit out of the browser before you go back in-game which I am about to do, as you can see right there on the screen. So uh, I'll see you guys back in game. Alright, back in game, go to single player, load, and choose your destiny. Tantric Hydra here. Oh wait, what what's this? My team value sky rated. And if I hit display team, it's gonna freeze for a little bit, but that's fine, it's normal, it's loading all of my changes. As you can see, I now have two witches, two blitzers, two runners. Well, the, yeah, the runners are right here, one and two. I also have two assassins now, and the rest are linemen. So that's a more balanced team. That's awesome. 
You can now go to team roster as well. You can see Fucker Nuts has been changed completely. And since these people are not what they normally are, they have different stats. And some are green, some are red. And green means it's higher than normal, red means it's lower than normal. So there you go. And I gave her hypnotic gaze. So, there we go. With uh, enough SPP star player points to go up a uh, level from the next game. Everything looks good for Fucker Nuts and the Titanic Hydras or the Tantric Hydras. Doesn't matter which, which one you want to call it. So, that's how you change everything around and yeah you can in fact change this text as well so there you go quick guide to how or on how to hack lead bowl and once again do not ever use this online this is for just this just this just single player, just doing stuff that you want to do with your campaign and your copy of Blood Bowl. See you later, guys.